Now to the excitement building around NASA's return mission to orbit the moon scheduled for Monday morning. It's an uncrewed test flight to check out all the systems before astronauts climb aboard. Here's a live look at Kennedy Space Center right now. NASA's most powerful rocket is on the launch pad. At last check, forecasters are predicting a 70% chance of good weather for that liftoff. If a lot of this looks familiar, it's because NASA is borrowing heavily from the Apollo moon missions 50 years ago. NBC's Tom Costello has more. Standing 322 feet tall, NASA's Artemis rocket is the biggest to stand on the pad in 50 years. And Artemis is different. Flanked with two boosters, it'll be 15% more powerful than the monster Saturn V rockets that carried Apollo astronauts to the moon. And this morning, all systems are go for a Monday morning launch and an uncrewed 42-day test flight to orbit the moon. We are pushing the vehicle to its limits, um, really stressing it um, to get ready for crew. We've mitigated the risk as far as we can, and now it's our time to get to launch so that we get that data that we need to put crew on it. Within two years, astronauts will ride on top of the rocket in the Orion crew capsule. The entire Artemis Orion stack looks something like Apollo on steroids, with some critical upgrades for future astronauts. Orion is a lot bigger than Apollo. Instead of three astronauts, four astronauts fit in these chairs here. They have a retractable rowing machine right here for exercise. And something Apollo didn't have underneath my feet, a commode. And NASA is also testing out this new astronaut suit for future missions, replacing the suits worn by shuttle astronauts. The new suit designed to keep astronauts alive for 144 hours should their spaceship suddenly lose cabin pressure. See, there's a little feed port here where using a specialized bag design, we can put liquid nutrition in, think of like a protein shake um, in there, and the crew member can turn their head in the helmet, be able to drink that so they have the proper nutrition. How is it in there? Is it hot? Uh, it feels good. Nice and cool, sir. Cool. Yes, sir. I have a cooling garment underneath. It has a tube that goes from left to right all the way across that keeps me nice and cool. Even on a hot Houston day. Yes, sir. <laughs> If this uncrewed Artemis mission goes well, an astronaut mission will follow, then a lunar landing in 2025 and a moon base. Returning from its mission, Orion will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere even faster and hotter than the space shuttle. Mach 32 and 5,000 degrees. A brand new heat shield will protect future crews before parachuting into the Pacific Ocean. The main objective that we really want to get out of this test flight is that stressing that heat shield, getting a test of that new Orion heat shield at lunar reentry velocity. That was Tom Costello reporting. KPRC2 is your home for all things space related. Our Taisha Walker will be traveling to Cape Canaveral to cover this historic mission. Her live reports begin Sunday.